everyone. It's uh, Kennebunk Pond Maple Farm here, and it's it's still freaking cold. I finally got all my um, all my ice melted from from the frozen buckets that I got um, earlier. You'll see it in the previous video, and maybe I'll even put one of those ticket things, like it goes like right over here. Boom. I don't know. We'll see if we can make that happen. Uh, let's see. If I look this way. There we go. You can see better. Uh, we're, we're running. I got a I got a full load of wood here in the wagon. We got some more in the. Uh, let's see. There we go. Full load of wood in the wagon. Um, it is cold out here. It is bright, frigid. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is. It's dark. I'm guessing 7:30, 8 o'clock. I got a long ways to go. I'm gonna keep this fire hot. See how fast I can get this whole thing done. Um, so I did run into an issue. Um, I mentioned it on Facebook that my my lines froze up. Um, I never had lines freeze up, but this is the first year of lines, and this is the coldest day I've boiled. Um, so what I've had to do it now. Um, let me take you in, and um, and we'll check it out, and uh, I'll show you exactly uh, what what I did and what happened. Well, I was going to take you over to check it out sooner, um, but it appears that cell phones. Well, my Windows phone was fine, but uh, iPhones don't like nine degrees. Um, the battery was low, so I plugged it in the garage back here, and then it was just uh, not right. It wouldn't even take a charge. I had to put it in one of my gloves with one of those hand warmer things um, with the charging cord in it to take a charge, and it's actually uh, working really well. So let me take you um, back to uh, where I was gonna show you where I had my problem earlier with uh, freezing up. So while it was running early, I had to stop it, and I had ice from this joint all the way down to this joint. Let me turn my headlamp on so you can see it. Oh, look, that's great. Uh, it's like it's like the cameraman seeing himself in a mirror and uh, making a movie. So I, I had ice all the way down. I took this one off. I couldn't even blow into the pipe here, so I had to heat that up until it ran through. Then this joint had ice in it. I had to use my torch, heat that up till it came through, and I slowly heated this up with the torch. Um, since it's plastic, I, I was a little bit nervous, but it came out okay. And then I finally closed the valve and opened, and then took the pipe off, and that had frozen. And because of all the plastic here, let's see here all the plastic over here, I had to be careful, and I was finally able to get it running. Uh, we still got quite a bit of boiling to do. Um, but yeah, six, nine degrees, whatever the hell it is right now. It's about as cold as I'm gonna boil, unless I'm inside. So, um, I don't know if I'll, this will be the last video of tonight. If I don't, um, have a good night. This will probably be posted in the morning. Uh, I don't know, Sunday morning, I don't know what the date is, so. All right, guys, have a good evening. If I don't see you again, bye. Well, it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, I took, I cleaned out the tank. It's, um, we're not finished by any means tonight, but we're finished for tonight, we're, but we're not finished. Um, I'll pick it back up tomorrow, uh, we have a few things to do there before noon, and um, I left it in pretty good shape to just get started right up after um, after lunchtime-ish. The tank's all ready, the pans, and I got these covers for the pans, so for when this, because this has happened before, so I can just leave it like that, I mean, they'll go through the filtering and all that stuff afterwards, so nothing, nothing will get in there. Um, and it's cold, so there's nothing out anyways. So, that being said, uh, good night. I'm going to bed. Um, I don't know when I'm going to put these videos up. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Alright, have a good one and uh, stay warm out there.